Okay, by now we have done the basic installation of Linux. Before we now deal with the installation of the required components, we would like to make an update first. For MX Linux, this is done by the software MX Updater. To start it, simply enter the appropriate term in the search bar of the application overview. After that, you have to enter the root password and the system will be updated automatically. In contrast to Windows, there are no forced updates necessary and the computer does not have to be restarted again and again. After the updates are done, we also enter the term software in the same search bar. One of the search results is called MX Package Installer. This is a kind of app store for MX Linux where we can find all the components we need. We start by selecting the test repository tab at the top. There we search for the term Wine. Wine is a software that can emulate an environment so that a program for Windows can also run on Linux. I am installing the staging version for 32 and 64 bit. Please remember to check the box below to install the recommended dependencies. After clicking the install button we get an overview how much disk space is needed to install the desired software. We simply confirm this with OK. After the confirmation we see that individual program parts are downloaded and installed. This can take a few minutes. As soon as the installation process is finished. We repeat the whole thing again, but this time we go to the tab stable repository and look for the package named Winbind. After this package is also installed we need another package called WineTrix. And then we install the play on Linux package which can also be found in the stable repository. When all these installations are done we need to enter some command lines. To do this, we open the terminal program which can be seen on the left bar as a black box. Here we have to enter some lines one by one and confirm them with enter. You can see which commands these are in the screenshots in this video. If needed, I can summarize the commands in the description. Once the wine configuration is successfully started, we should see a screen after a few seconds that shows Windows 7 as the suggested version. For the beginning we leave all settings as they are and close this window with a click on the OK button. After that we start wine tricks from the command line with a parameter for WinHttp. This will create a new directory and download a service pack for Windows. Ok, that's it so far with the installation. In the next video we will look at how to get MetaTrader up and running with the programs installed. If you have any questions or suggestions about the content in this video just send us an email. We always reply ourselves and usually within 24 hours. If you want to create your own algo trading server farm, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need faster and better trading results for your own algo trading, then check out the premium course on our website. For now, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.